Smile and learn. Fruits on sale, watermelons, bananas, pears. Hi there, my friend. Welcome to my fruit stand. Everything is on sale. Oranges, tomatoes, pumpkins. What was that? You're not here to buy fruit? Oh, I see. You're here to learn about even and odd numbers. Well, my fruit stand is the perfect place to do that. Pay close attention. Let's start with even numbers. Look, there are six oranges in this crate. Six is an even number. But why is that? Easy. If we made groups of two, there would be no oranges left over. Look at this crate over here. There are eight apples. Shall we make groups of two to see if eight is an even number? Let's make one group here, another one here, one more right here, and the last one over here. Hmm, there are no apples left over. This means that number eight is an even number. Even numbers can be paired in groups of two without any left over. Excellent! Now that we've learned what even numbers are, let's look at odd numbers. Odd numbers can be paired in groups of two, and there's always one left over. Look at this crate. There are five tomatoes. Is five an odd number? Let's make groups of two to see if there are any tomatoes left over. One group here, another one here, and oops, there's one tomato left over. This means that the number five is an odd number because there is one tomato left over. Look, there are nine lemons. We're going to make groups of two to see if there will be any lemons left over. One group here, another one here, there's one more right here, one last group over here, and huh, there's one lemon left over. We have grouped nine lemons and there's one lemon left over. So we say that nine is an odd number. The numbers we have looked at are not big numbers and they can be easily paired in groups of two to check whether they are even or odd numbers. It would be harder to pair bigger numbers though. That's why we use a trick to find out which numbers are even and which ones are odd. For even numbers, the last digit is always 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. While for odd numbers, the last digit is always 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Learning this simple trick will help you tell apart even and odd numbers. Let's practice! There are 54 peaches in this crate. Can we find out if 54 is an even or odd number? Of course! The last digit in 54 is 4. Remember our trick? 4 is an even number, which makes 54 an even number as well. Great! Let's see what we have in this crate. 263 cherries. We can find out if 263 is an even or odd number, right? Absolutely! The last digit in 263 is 3. Based on our trick, 3 is an odd number. This means that 263 is an odd number as well. Good job! That was all for today. Now you know how to identify an even number or an odd number. Well, I'm going back to my stand. See you soon. Everything is on sale. Oranges, cherries, lemons, tomatoes. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.